Bahasham Yahabashai Bahasham Wahavaka Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahawah, and His Son's name is Yahabashai. And double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that teach us truth well and that continue to teach us truth well. And to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning across the globe. This lesson is going to be called Remain in Circumspect in These Times We Are Living In. Remain in Circumspect in These Times We Are Living In. Because every single day there's things happening. Every single day there's a war being waged on our souls every single day. Now, okay? So we're going to start from Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4 and 14. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest. We were once asleep. We were once dead. Mentally, spiritually dead once upon a time. Okay? But now we've been awoken by what? The truth. And arise from the dead. Because we were in a very, very dead state. It tells you that in Ezekiel 30, what, 7? The valley of the dry bones. And the Mashiach shall give thee light. So it's going to be him that gives us that light. And what's that light? The wisdom to guide us in the way. On that right path. Verse 14, wherefore he saith, awake thou that sleepest. It's like I just read that. Verse 15, see then that ye walk circumspectly. So when we're walking, when we're out and about, we have to be very, 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 very circumspect of what we see, what we do, and what we say. Okay, and that word for circum is what? Full circle. It's to serve, circumnavigate. So we're looking around us and specs comes from the eyes. So we're looking around, we're observing, okay? Everything we see, and Lord willing, filtering these things through the scriptures, everything we see. And that's really what, applying that knowledge. Not as fools, because the people in this world, they're walking as fools. Right back to that spirit of partying. Partying, you know? N not, not giving a damn about anything. Just partying, reveling, giving to the flesh. Okay, so that's those that are walking as fools but as wise we want to be those wise virgins okay that had our lambs trimmed okay verse 16 redeeming the time because the days are evil these are really evil times and how do you how do we redeem the times by getting into these prophecies by measuring the times even in that circumspect on how we're dealing with brothers okay how we're dealing with brothers how we're dealing with our everyday lives, okay, how we're dealing with people in the world, how we're dealing with the news, even circumspect, there's, there's many avenues to, be, to become in circumspect. Even when we're watching things on the news, how are we filtering these things? Okay, so Lord, that's what he requires, okay, for us to be vigilant, circumspect, and really looking out for the things that are happening, okay. So with that, we're going to go straight to, bear me just a minute. We're going to go straight to, see if I still got it. Ah, man. Bear me just a minute. Okay, yeah, this is a good one. This is, um, observe, this is, um, the book of Sirach, chapter 13 and 13. Observe and take good heed. So you've got to be a very observant, okay, of what's around you and take good heed, okay? That means you're being circled, you're looking around, you're taking heed to what you see. For thou walkest in the peril. But what's another word for peril? Dangers of the overthrowing. This kingdom. Remember whose kingdom we are in right now. Esau's. Okay? When thou hearest these things, awake in thy sleep. Okay? Another word, be vigilant. Awake means you're on your feet. Okay? And what does it really mean to be on your feet? You're in the spirit. When you're a spirit, you're awake. 
Okay. Love the Lord Jehovah Shah all thy life and call upon him for thy salvation. Because that's who salvation is going to come through. Yahweh Shai. Okay, and that's what we're seeking. Okay. Bear me just a minute. Because people, um, the people out here, you, what do you? This is this is what we gotta understand. The people out here, the majority of them, have high level of demons on them. Okay, so if they have high level, if they're for this world, that means they're against you. No matter if it's mother, father, if they're not in the truth, they have the potential to do anything. And even men that claim to be in the truth, they have the potential to do anything if they're not fully immersed in the truth. Okay, and there's a lot of hostile spirits, a lot of carnal spirits out here that want to draw you into carnality, that are carnal, that want to fight. We're not out here to fight, we're out here to bring this word out. It doesn't mean we're pussies, because <laughs> brothers, brothers know how to defend themselves. Okay, but we're not going to resort to that measure, but we will defend ourselves. If you start getting carnal, we will defend ourselves. Okay, if you think you're going to come. If you think if you think you're gonna um, approach a man of the Lord and be carnal, okay, and think you're gonna draw them into, then think again, okay. So all these things we have to be aware of, okay. All these different scenarios that happen in our lives. So bear me just a minute. Matthew, that's why it says in Matthew 10. and get Matthew 10 and 16 and it says behold I send you forth a sheep so what are sheep if we're sheep sheep are at a disadvantage because they're not they're not what well, they're not um they're not animals that can really hurt you can they? They, they they're harmless they can't harm you in the midst of wolves I'm over in the midst of wolves right now in the midst surrounded by wolves okay we're surrounded by a bunch of wolves <laughs> And what do wolves do to sheep? Devour, rip them to shreds Okay, so Yahweh I said I send you food for sheep amongst wolves Okay Be therefore wise as serpents Because a serpent is very very calculative You see the attributes of a snake A snake picks its time and most of the time A snake is so calculative, so silent most people that get bit by snakes is because they stepped on it or they're in close proximity where a snake is living. Okay? Then that snake crept upon them and what? Bit them. So this is how we're supposed to be in this truth. Okay? Not crafty, not snaky in wickedness because a lot of people, they would use this scripture but they're not applying it in righteousness. You could be acting like a serpent but in wickedness. Like John, John the Baptist says, who warned you to flee? You bunch of vipers, you bunch of serpents. So we want to be doing things in what? In righteousness. Okay. Be there for wise as serpents and harmless as doves. So this is how we approach people when we're out here in this world, even in the truth, because you're never out of the truth. You're always in the truth. Even amongst the world. When the camera's not off, you're still in the truth. Okay. So this, it's a constant thing of examination Okay This is happening This scenario is happening Let me get the scriptures This individual is acting like this All I've got to do is go to the scriptures And see why this individual is acting this way Okay Everything's filtered through the scriptures You do that you can't go wrong i never forget what Elder Aram Lab said Stick to the scriptures The moment you stick to the scriptures That's your safe barrier as long as you're breaking it down right That's your safe barrier Anything outside That's it Satan's got you That's why we don't deal with emotions in this truth Do we get times we're emotional But we put that to the side And we deal with the scriptures As men are supposed to do Not emotions Not feelings Because the moment you do that Then what? Satan's got you Okay Satan's got you This is why our safe, our safe haven is the scriptures 
mm. okay and as long as you're in the scriptures and you're dividing the word rightly not to fit your own agenda because men can also use the scriptures to fit their own agenda as long as you're using it in the right way that's your safe haven that's our safe haven okay this is Matthew 16 and yeah 16 but beware of men before they will deliver you up to the council so this is what time we are in okay this is what time we are approaching you got crafty men and this ain't talking about individuals in the world it's speaking about men in the truth that's why you got to be really careful what you say who you speak to really circumspect because not everybody's a, not everybody's a brother okay the scripture says prove a friend first so this is it a man don't just come into camp you prove this you have to prove this man to see if he's really about the truth and really it's Yahawashai proving that man through other men just how I had to be proven by Yahawashai through men so we all have to go through the same thing nobody gets a no special treatment in this truth we're all being tried okay and some are going to come out okay victorious and others are going to what fail that test this is a test okay the elders brothers are going to do things to see where your mind is at okay do you really believe in Yahweh Shai? And this is why we've got to be really, really, really circumspect. Oh, bear me just a minute. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to councils. Okay? In other words, to Esau. Okay? And this is going to be done by what? Some type of form of allegation. Okay? That's why you, got, you want to be wise out here. Okay? Wise. If someone's going to say something about you, it's going to be lies. It's not going to be the truth. So that's what type of lies we're living. You know? Because me... What do I do? I just do, do my videos. Do we have some shortcomings in the flesh? Yes. But not, not nothing that can get us imprisoned. Oh, you understand what I'm saying? You know? So if you are going to be brought before kings and governors, let it be for a lie. Okay? Not suffering. The scripture is not suffering as an evildoer. Okay? A murderer. A busybody. In other men's matters. A thief. You don't want to be suffering for that stuff. Okay? But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils and they will scourge you in their synagogues. Okay? These council meetings, these buildings. Okay? Bring you before Esau. And what does that show you? That show you these men, they have... These men, they have... Um, they have an attachment to this world. They know people in high places. Okay? you got certain men before they came into this truth Well, even when they were in the truth What, bankers? A banker in the truth? Not saying anything's wrong with that But come on Have you really gave, given up your, your old life? Because men that had ambitions They gave up them ambitions So this is why you've got to be careful Remember, anyone that's not unplugged from the matrix They're liable to do anything Remember what was said to Neo These people are so heavily dependent on the system You know, they're attached Okay, the men of the Lord ain't going to be attached to this world Because then if you're attached to this world, guess what? I've got to watch out Because you're liable to be a, to be a harm to me That's why you've got to be circumspect And you shall be brought before kings Brought before kings and for my name's sake Before governors and kings for my name's sake For Yahweh's sake, for this gospel Okay, and why? Because individuals they're gonna feel offended, they're gonna feel a particular way about the words, and they're gonna be like, Yes, we need to get these guys locked up. We don't like the message they're pushing. Okay, and this is gonna be by our own people, the major our own people. This is our man, and you shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. So this is going to be a testimony against the wicked of our own people, Esau and the Gentiles, the other nations. But when they should deliver you up, take no thought of how or what you shall speak, for it shall be given you in the same hour what you shall speak, because Yahweh is going to what? Speak through us. Just like he's been speaking through us. Okay, already. 
is going to continue to. This is the mindset we need to have. Okay? Stay faithful. Okay? Stay grounded. Stay humble. Because humility goes a long way. Okay? Pride is just going to get one spewed out. Okay? And have them looking silly out there. So humility is where it's at. Don't worry about what these people think of you in the world. Because the people in the world, what's their end going to be? Their end's going to be destruction, calamity, death. Okay? So th these are the things that are going to happen. Okay? But when they deliver you up, take no thought of how what you shall speak, for it shall be given you in the same hour what you shall speak, or for what? For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. Okay, so it's Yahweh that speaks through us. Okay, and that's what the people of this world they cannot stand. It's not us they hate. Remember, it's the world. So, like, it's the world that hates you. So, again, in a spiritual sense, if you've got individuals in this truth that claiming to be in the truth, but they're of the world, what's the natural reaction going to be to someone that's sincere and someone that's not sincere that's in the world? Someone that's not sincere and is in the world, he's going to have a fervent hatred for someone that's in the truth and is living the truth why? because two are against each other the world, remember what Yahweh Shai said if the world hateth you, just know it hated me ok so that's, that's, a, that's a that's a more brief understanding of what we're involved in ok And stay prayed up as well because Satan is out here. I'm telling you, Satan is out here messing with brothers, man. Okay? Spells, all that. We know what individuals are doing. You know? We know what individuals are doing. Okay? Through the spirit. So bear me just a minute. I forgot what it was now, I forgot what I was looking for, I lost my train of thought. But yes, we got we have to be circumspect out here. You know, Satan's always looking for an opening, always. Even when you're in the scriptures, he's still looking for some type of opening. Okay? And that opening could be a woman, your own flesh. Okay? This is a constant thing. Constant. Man, I've just been bit as well. I think I've just been stung by a wasp. Shit. So we're gonna um go into a few more scriptures and we shut off. Let's go to Proverbs Babakasha. These are the first things you learn when you come to this truth. First things. Okay. Let's go to Proverbs. Bear me just a minute. Bear me just a minute. Proverbs 3 and 11. Discretion. And we got Proverbs 1 as well. Let's start at Proverbs 3 and 11. Discretion shall preserve thee. Okay. In other words, it's going to keep you protected. Keep you out of unnecessary and unnecessary situations which discretion is wisdom okay no don't go that way go this way okay because this is happening okay you see a fight happening you don't join in are you carnal you don't join in okay you get away from that scenario using discretion you see a particular thing's about to happen and the spirit's telling you no avoid that that's discretion okay you see an individual's uncomely unreasonable then what you avoid him okay and the scriptures that's a prayer that we shall be delivered from unreasonable men okay because all men that have not the faith so it's about using discretion in particular scenarios okay understanding shall keep thee okay so if you have an understanding you're going to use discretion and what that's going to keep us okay 
to deliver thee from the way of the evil man from the man that speaketh froward things, wicked things, corrupt things who leave the path of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness the ways of darkness is this world and these other philosophies so that's what discretion is going to do even when it comes to individuals that teach different doctrines this is going to keep you what? safe from them protected from them okay so with this lesson I hope this was edifying I'm going to shut up here and until the next time Shadow one to the hopeful elect. Shadow one.